everyone! Today, I'd like to share a video about designing a product out of local recyclable solid and or liquid materials in making using products. And I'm teacher Maria Fe, your science grade 5 teacher from Mulanay Central Elementary School. And I'll be joining you today for another scientific experience as you gain new ideas and explore the world of science. For today's lesson, our most essential learning competency, milk, is to design a product out of local recyclable solid and or liquid materials in making using product. First quarter, week 6 to 8. Do you have empty bottles of vinegar, fish sauce, soy sauce in your kitchen? If you say yes, can you reuse them? What else can we do to these materials? What product can we make out of these materials? We can segregate these materials. And segregating these materials properly is what we call waste management. Waste management is the process by which materials that has been used, broken, disposed, and are no longer in good conditions are managed in a way that they can be reused, reduced, recycled, recovered, and repaired. These five R's in waste management are very important especially in this type of pandemic that our way of living has been adversely affected by community quarantine at different levels. If you will reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair materials that have been considered waste, you can contribute a lot in your environment. Designing a product out of local recyclable solid or liquid materials in making use product is an application of five R's in waste management. Now let us discuss five R's one by one. Reduce. You can reduce the use of plastics which are non-biodegradable and can live for hundreds of years. To reduce the use of plastic, it is better to bring echo bag for storage and keeping of grocery items. Another way to reduce plastic is to buy products in bigger packs than those packed in small sachets. A small sachets prevent the excessive use of a product, but such a practice can increase the product of non-biodegradable waste because more plastic sachets will be discarded. Reuse. Reusing items at home instead of buying new one can help to reduce waste. In the kitchen, it is better to replace all the single-use eating utensils. You can also bring your own bag in the grocery stores. In storing food, durable plastic containers are very practical. Some waste in the kitchen can be reused. You can collect some materials that can be prepared as organic fertilizers in your garden. This is called composting. Repair Repair is to fix something that is broken, damaged, split, or not working properly. Example of repair we can do is fixing broken chairs and sewing cut or holes in the pockets of your pants. Recover. Do you have a computer or any gadgets at home? There are times that these gadgets or appliances at home are damaged or lost some of its parts. Of course, it is not practical to dispose these materials because they can still be recovered by looking for replacement materials that are available in the market, hardware, or in any other stores. Recycle Recycle is reusing the same material 
to make a new product out of local materials or used items found at home. Papers, glass bottles, jars, plastics, and clothes are recyclables and can be used in designing new products. Now, let me give you the steps and tips when designing a new product out of local and used materials at home. First, determine the available local materials that are largely available at home or in your nearby places and community. Second, study the properties of these local materials or use broken, damaged, or repairable materials. Third, create new products that are useful out of these materials by adding some aesthetic sense on them by watching videos, TV, or looking for some references that may guide you in creating new materials. Fourth, as much as possible, Seek help from elders to enjoy doing your activities in reducing, reusing, recycling, recovering, and repairing materials to design local products that are useful out from these waste materials. Now, let us help our first project, the Recycled Flower Pot. In this project, we are going to recycle the plastic bottles to make them more useful. So, let's start! Recycled flower pot. Materials needed. 38 pieces of plastic bottles. It should be in the same size. Tie wire. Nail. Pliers. Cutter. Procedures First, cut around the top of the 12 bottle in a straight line until the top detaches. Be very careful in cutting the bottle. Second, mount the cut bottles into the other bottles. Third, bore two holes on the middle part of the bottles, then connect them using a wire. The tie wire will hold the battles together. Fourth, do this also on the lower and the upper part of the bottles. For the base, number one, cut the bottom of the 14 bottles. Number two, combine the two cut bottoms. Number three, Make six holes on the middle part of the bottles. Number four, connect them using the tire wire until they become round. Number five, attach the base on the body of the pot. Wow! This is absolutely fantastic! The plastic bottles turned into a beautiful flower pot. So I hope you kids enjoyed learning while staying at home. And it would be so cool if you continue to create or design a product out of local or recyclable materials. Thank you for watching. Keep safe everyone. Bye-bye!